Now I'm spinning around the SM4 to 90 degrees to show you the off-axis rejection and coloration. This is the rear of the mic. Please provide pizza pronto. Please provide pizza pronto. Please provide pizza pronto. Please prepare and provide pizza pronto, pals. Now I am right on top of the grill of the pop filter. Now I'm about six inches off of the mic. Now about one foot away from the SM4, about two feet away from the SM4, and about four feet away from the Shure SM4. Now I am typing on a keyboard with Gatoron blue switches to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And for the gamers, now I'm typing on the sad W and spacebar keys. Now here's how the microphone sounds about six inches away from my mouth in a relatively well-treated room. And now here's how the microphone sounds in a completely untreated room six inches away from my mouth. Next, I want to see how effective the microphone and the mount are at rejecting shocks. And then I will tap on the boom arm. 